Hey, this is Don with the DIY Collaborative, and today we wanted to talk to you about uh, keeping your swimming pool clean. So this is a pool vac or a pool sweep, and in this particular case, this one just happens to be a Polaris uh, Model 280. They have a lot of different uh, kinds of these, brands of these, etc. Some people prefer one over the other. Uh, we've had this one uh, since our pool was uh, brand new. And I'll have to admit that it's really the workhorse uh, as far as cleaning my pool, uh, aside from me, that is. So one thing I was going to mention on the pool vac or the pool sweeps that you have, and in my case, again, it's a Polaris Model 280. I try to keep a little container like this of some of the key spare parts that I might need. And the reason I do that is, is because, and I mentioned earlier, I do order a lot of my stuff from Amazon, but it may take a day or a few days, or in some cases I've ordered parts that were, you know, not in stock and it was gonna be a couple of weeks. So on those key parts, I try to keep an extra one on hand so if something on the Polaris, you know, goes out or breaks or what have you, I can replace that part from my little kit. And you can see here, I keep O-rings, the key O-rings that it might need. I've got some of the split rings that go on the Polaris tail, some of the nuts that you use, a screw to attach the wheel, some of the swivel joints that go on the Polaris, uh, some of the ball bearings, uh, the wheel bearings uh, that go in the wheels, things like that that I keep on hand. Now, granted, I've got some key bigger parts that I don't necessarily keep on hand that I had to order uh, recently, and those are here. But again, I do keep a little toolkit like this uh, handy uh, for when I've got a real quick, you know, replacement or something like that that needs to happen reason I do this, uh, keep these, you know, some of the key uh, parts on hand is uh, when they break and I need one, I can immediately replace that part on the Polaris and get it back up and running again uh, because we want to keep that pool, you know, looking nice uh, like this, if you will. Uh, we live in Dallas. It's about 104 right now. I think the feel like it here in Dallas is 112 today. So it's important to keep this, you know, pool up and running so that when we want to use it, uh, it's nice and clean. But I'll use these parts from my kit and replace whatever that item is, uh, provided that I have it. And then I'll order a new replacement part to go in my kit. Appreciate you watching our videos uh, if you don't mind uh, it would help us out if you could subscribe to the channel we have a lot of other uh, videos on how to take care of your pool and your pool equipment uh, give us a thumbs up and be sure and put some uh, comments questions if you have them uh, down in the uh, comment section below we love to try to help people out thanks again for watching uh, this is Don with the DIY collaborative